Hello. In this post, I try to geometrically explain the notion of a derivative, and I want to correlate it with the notion of a speed of velocity. Okay. So I made two illustrations: one in Mathematica, the other one in PowerPoint. We start with Mathematica. There is a command which is designed to illustrate movement of a point along a straight line. You don't need to discuss the format of the command. Just let us look at the result. Okay? So this T stands for time. P of T stands for the position of a point at point T. And the initial point is right here. And as, let me start from the beginning, and as the, the time, uh, yeah, we, as we move, a long time, the point first moves to the left. That hollow circle here is the initial position of the point. Then the point moves to the right. Okay, We can imagine that this is a car moving along the road back and forth. And then that picture leads to the following generalization. Here we look at First, at uh, this a straight line, which is timeline, and we can look at two different points in time. One is T1, this one, another is T2, this one, and along with this line, we have another line, which I call a road. It's along this road, our our point will be moving. Okay, so at point at time T1, it could be here, P of T1. At time T2, it could be here. P of T2, okay? And we want to find the speed of the point or of the car uh, along the average speed in this time interval from time T1 to T2. How do we do that? As usual, we find the length of this time interval, which is T2 minus T1, and the distance traveled, which is P of T2 minus P of T1. And when, then we define, the, then we divide by the distance traveled by the time, which the car which it took to go from one point to another point. And the definition that, that we obtain is this: this will be this fraction where define we divide the distance traveled by the time that it took to go from one point to another. Now that the actual distance traveled can be very different from this, because from the geometrical interpretation, you could imagine that the car, while traveling, for, traveling from this point to that point, it could have made many uh, movements back and forth. Okay, But as T2 approaches T1, we make the interval smaller and smaller. This approximation of the average speed to the true speed at point T1 will be better and better. Okay, so this gives us this definition that we consider the, the same fractions as before, but now we let T2 go to T1, approach that T1. What we obtain in the limit is denoted like this, P prime of T1, and this, as is clear from the previous discussion, this will be velocity or which is the same is precise speed or instantaneous speed at point T1. Okay. Once again, the derivative is just a name for this limit. By itself, it doesn't mean anything. It, this gives the meaning to the to uh, to the notion of the derivative, and uh, we should remember that it is interpreted simply as velocity or speed. That's all. Thank you.